today on an all-new Dr. Phil. Their daughter was diagnosed with schizophrenia, and mom believes their son has it too. Tell me why you're so convinced that he has childhood schizophrenia. He has both autism and schizophrenia. He's never been diagnosed with schizophrenia. Can you say forced lucidity? It's 5 o'clock in the morning, and she is questioning Bodie about his meds. Do you need medication, yes or no? You are not competent to make a decision about what medications he needs. Then you provide me the doctor who is. Today's going to be a changing day in your life. You've never had anybody working harder to bring you to the threshold of change than right now. You know, we've been on the air a long time, and back in 2012, I did a story with an unforgettable little girl named Jenny, who was diagnosed with schizophrenia at only six years old. A diagnosis so rare that it's found in only one in 40,000 children. Now, Jenny imagined she lived in a world called Kalilini. Now, during our interview, she would wander off, was often unfocused, and had what we called a flight of ideas. Take a look. Are you Janie? I'm Janie. I'm Dr. Phil. Mm -hmm. How are you? Now sit down and uh, do you have pets? I'll make cookies. Yeah? Well, we'll make cookies in a minute. Tell me about pets. Uh, do you have a dog named Blink? Blink, yeah. Tell me about Blink. Well, Blink. Is Blink a beagle? Beagle. Do you have cats? One cat, Midnight. Yeah. Is, is Midnight one of just your friends, or is it uh, somebody I can see, too? One of my friends. Just your friends? What is Kalalini? In my world. It's your own world? Who's 24 hours? My friend. Yeah. How old is she? 16. Oh, she's older than you. Yeah. Is she a nice girl? In the 80s. Yeah. What does 24 hours look like? Brown hair. Brown hair? Tell me why you like to rub your hands together like this. You know why you like to do that? I want the cookie. I would love the cookie. Jenny? Jenny? Well, thank you for coming. I'm so proud to meet you. My observations about Jenny then was obviously she was a delightful young girl with a delightful spirit, but she did have a fantasy world that she occupied sometimes and a tangential connection to the real world. And even back then, Jenny's parents, Michael and Susan, were at odds over how to parent Jenny, and their marriage was not in a good place. I mean, check out their body language from seven years ago. Uh, I predicted then that they would get a divorce, and I was right. I mean, this kind of thing puts a really big strain. Now, I'm keeping them separated right now. Susan is in the green room, and Michael is backstage because they're at each other's throats over a new issue now. Their 11-year-old son, Bodie. Now, Susan believes that Bodie is also schizophrenic and has been documenting him on YouTube. In fact, her channel has over 180 videos. Now, Michael says Susan is seeking fame by exploiting their children. He says she keeps them doped up on enough meds to take down grown men. Michael says Bodie may be autistic, but he is not schizophrenic and believes that Susan's personal agenda won't stop until their son is dead. Since I was last on the show, Susan and I have gotten divorced. I was unfaithful several times. I've gotten remarried and I've moved 1,800 miles away from Susan and Jenny and Bodie. Since I've left, things have gotten progressively worse. When Jenny was on the show, when she met Dr. Phil, she was still talking a lot about her hallucinations and she was very much in her own world. Now, her hallucinations are limited to a few friends. I believe Bodhi is the real concern. <laughs> Bodhi is severely autistic. He is not verbal, rarely speaks in complete sentences. <laughs> Bodhi will blurt out 
one or two words at a time. My apple juice. Bodhi has been hospitalized over 20 times. Susan believes that Bodhi is schizophrenic, just like Janny. I have never believed that. The odds of having two children with schizophrenia is about a one in a million. Susan believes that Bodhi is violent. That is not a belief that I share. Yes, Bodhi has lashed out at times. Yes, he has pulled hair. Those are normal autistic behaviors. Susan has gone from doctor to doctor to put Bodhi on clozapine. That is a very horrible idea because clozapine is a last resort medication for severe, untreatable schizophrenia. It is not to be used for autism. So he's just waking up, like just giving his meds. Do you want this pasta, Bodhi? Spaghetti pasta. I am afraid that Bodhi will suffer permanent brain damage from the medication that Susan believes he has to be on. Susan is punishing me for the divorce and the way things ended. If Susan does not co-parent with me, my son Bodhi could wind up dead. Okay, Michael, um, it's good to see you again. And as you commented, that we both wish it was under better circumstances. Yes. But it is good to see you again. I'm not surprised that uh, you two uh, have a divorce. I'm very sorry about that. and. At this point, you, you agree that Janny is doing much better. Janny is doing much better. Janny's come a long way uh, from, I was watching before the, the little bit with her, and she's much more present in our world now. Mm -hmm. um, she does have real flesh and blood friends at school. She doesn't get to see them as often as she would like. Mm -hmm. She still occasionally will talk about her hallucinations. <clears throat> But I don't know if she really even sees them or if she's just lonely and she wants friends. Well, she's tested at a genius IQ. So she has a very rich intellect. Yeah. And so it takes a lot to keep her entertained. It takes a lot to, yes. she, she has a rich mind. Now, let me ask you something. You. You say that you think it's critical that you co-parent and you believe that your son's life could actually be hanging in the balance. Yeah. Then why move 1,800 miles away? Um, I moved, which was a difficult decision to make, but I, I talked to Janie mm. every day on the phone. I fly back to California two to three times uh, uh, every two to three months. Okay, but you agree this is at the expense of your children. Yes. I mean, so you've put other needs ahead yes, of your I, children's yes. best interests. There's no other way to, to yes, say it. Yes, I would, I would agree with that. And um, I'm not saying that there aren't balances that you have to look at, but bottom line, you have a son that you believe life is actually on the line and certainly his health is on the line and you see him three days a quarter. Yes. And that's not the best way no, to co-parent if no, co-parenting was available. I just not, want to get that. Yeah. You got to acknowledge that. I do acknowledge that. Susan's concept of co-parenting is do everything that I want. She will not uh, listen to me, take my opinion under consideration, anything like that. Okay, I get it. And it but we don't know because you're not here. And, and yeah. so we can't counsel through that. Now, you, she has a YouTube channel. Yes. And you believe that it's highly exploitive. Yes, I do. I mean, she's filmed Bodhi in the shower. She's filmed Bodhi on the toilet. Um, she claims that she's doing these videos as an advocate for mental health. But I don't think that she's actually teaching anybody anything. These, I think that the purpose of these videos is for her to get attention and for her to make money because they're, she makes money off the ad revenue. Well, here's an example. January 28th, and Bodhi has been off of medication now for about uh, three days. <laughs> That's enough, I don't want to show any more of that. Now, this garnered a tremendous amount of negative uh, comments mm -hmm. 
uh, on YouTube, and some of those were accusing her of being abusive and exploitive. Uh, they were very pointed and said that she should be turned in to uh, Child Protective Services. They yeah. said she was uh, sick, that it was torture, this was sad, putting the child in danger, Munchausen by proxy, stop filming, this is eerie, poor kids, barely conscious, sad, uh, crazy woman, uh, over-medicated, sick, abuse. I mean, th this is just a sample of them. Yes. I mean, these are just words pulled from them, but some of them were, went on and on talking about how, you know, who is this woman and why is she doing this? And that was one of the least offensive uh, videos yes. that, that drew criticism because she goes on and on with and, the kids. And she thinks that all of those comments are either from me, my wife, or people that I've had a relationship with in the past. Yeah, well, you've got a lot of friends then because yeah. there's a lot of I, comments I don't there. have that many friends. She thinks that your son, Bodie, is schizophrenic. Yes. You think that he is on the spectrum, yes. autism spectrum disorder. Yes, because um, that's and, what he's actually been diagnosed with. Right, and she's been to a lot of doctors yes. looking for a childhood schizophrenic disorder. Yes. How many doctors? She, uh, Bodhi has been hospitalized over 20 times. Uh, she has seen um, at least half a dozen doctors. I remember once uh, she drove him all the way to Stanford in Northern California to try and get him seen by a doctor who would give him clozapine. Well, I think the number's higher than that, but we'll ask Susan. Uh, of Susan's almost 200 YouTube videos, there is one that really stood out to me, and I'm gonna have to ask her about that, which I'm gonna do after the break when Susan joins us. We'll be right back. There have been times when Bodhi has gotten so violent that nobody could control him. He would be grabbing at his own genitals, trying to pull them off. Michael just cut and run. Michael has replaced our family with his new family. I believe Michael wants them both to be institutionalized, especially Bodhi. People gonna talk in DC. They're claiming the Samuels are looking to divorce. Him and his dad are not speaking. Welcome. We're going to be out on our own little island for peace. I'm going to go before I whip your ass. The sisterhood just went out the window. I'm back. Didn't own them. Because yeah. I'm talking again and again and again. Love and Marriage DC returns Saturday, January 21st at 8, 7 Central. Come on, open book. Okay, open book. The three-part reunion concludes. She is the definition of the devil. You have a dark soul. Oh. Damn, Tisha. Damn. You don't want to miss. Oh, you talking about when you hacked this phone? What the f***? Oh, I'm going to get past it. You are changing so many lives. This. I'm very concerned about you. Love and Marriage Huntsville, new reunion part three, Saturday at 8, 7 Central. Let the chips fall where they may. Tension's gonna fly. Everybody's dating each other, but everybody knows they're dating each other. Your directness yeah. is getting out of hand. Yeah. When I saw that, I was like, oh, well. If you're looking for a man, say amen. Amen. There are some things that I've heard. It's so embarrassing. Hey, sweetheart. Max, I think he's a fraud, and I don't think he's a good person. It's only gonna get worse. I ain't gonna do this with everybody. This is too much. Ready to love. New episode tonight, 8, 7 Central. This is Mary Ann's first time visiting Paris. Madame, where are you? Uh... Before Mary Ann packed her bags, before she attempted her first sentence in Comment French, before she completed her first 15 minute lesson, yes. she downloaded Babbel. Babbel helped unlock her lifelong dream of learning French. She started speaking in just three weeks. So when it came time to tell the cab driver to take her to the Hotel Pierre... J'aimerais aller à l'Hotel Pierre. Oh, c'est très bien. 
150 language experts and educators designed Babbel to be the most efficient and effective way to learn a new language. Babbel focuses on natural conversation. You'll remember what you learn, and you can speak and pronounce with confidence. Start speaking a new language in three weeks. Try it for free at Babbel.com. Do you want your man or not? Do you know your plans or not? You gonna go back home or not? You gonna claim your throne or not? Is you Khaleesi or that other <laughs> name I don't remember? I've decided to go to rehab. I'm still here, bitches. We got a big surprise. Gage is gonna be a big brother. Thousand Pound Sisters, season premiere, Tuesday at 9 on TLC. I'm taking you with me. There's some rules you gotta follow. Rule one, we keep our histories to ourselves. Rule two, you don't tell anyone about your condition. Rule three, you do what I say when I say it. You clear? What you say goes. Susan is living in a one-bedroom apartment with her new husband and my two children. Jani sleeps in her own bedroom, and then we have Bodie over here. Corey and I are over here. They have no real furniture. Bodie sleeps on a mattress on the floor next to the mattress that Susan and Corey share. The apartment is very dirty. The living conditions are appalling. Since I've left, things have gotten progressively worse. Well, Susan says she's doing the best she can with two schizophrenic children, but Michael says her home is a mess, and so is she. Now, Michael says Bodie is not schizophrenic. His only diagnosis is autism. Susan says that Michael fights her every step of the way, and all she's doing is fighting for 11-year-old Bodie's true diagnosis. Michael and I are not on the same page with parenting our children. I believe Bodie is schizophrenic. Michael believes Bodie's severely autistic. Bodie has not been officially diagnosed schizophrenic. Bodie has seen upwards of 50 doctors. Bodie has been on at least 25 different medications. Right now, Bodie is not really functioning at all. There have been times when Bodie has gotten so violent that nobody could control him. He would be grabbing at his own genitals, trying to pull them off. I would say Bodie is probably a two-year-old's level of functioning. After a divorce, Michael moved about 2,000 miles away. I believe Michael just cut and run. Michael left me to pick up the pieces, and uh, he left me alone. Michael has replaced our family with his new family. Michael sees the kids as a nuisance to his new life. I believe Michael wants them both to be institutionalized, especially Bodhi. And then he can just, I guess, go on. Michael comes in for the fun, and then he leaves. And then he criticizes me for what I'm doing after he leaves. He's not even here. <laughs> I just, I really hate him. Ah! Well, I'm sure you're not excited to see him then. Um... He's been coming around, actually. Um, he took Bodhi out for a um, couple of times. Mm -hmm. as he's been here. And um, by the way, when you left last night, you said he ate, but yes. he, he did not. All of his food, Janie told me the truth. Sorry. She tells no, me the he, truth. No, he did eat. And not only, why that, is the, okay. not only that, because he's losing weight rapidly. He is off all medication right now. He has been for two weeks. Be okay, well, yes. we're not here to talk about what he had for dinner last night. Okay. Um, <laughs> why? Mm -hmm. Yes. Tell me why you're so convinced that he has childhood onset schizophrenia? I believe he has both autism and childhood schizophrenia. He is diagnosed with both. And basically well, he- He's not diagnosed yes, with- Yes, he is. He's never been diagnosed with child he, onset schizophrenia. He's, well, psychotic disorder. Either Which way, it I doesn't matter. I don't agree matter. with. That was one doctor. And how, how do you give a child a, a diagnosis of psychotic disorder when he doesn't speak? He does speak, though. He's been speaking all night. 
He's been up all night, and you he's know what he wants to do? He's not he, articulating he, uh, the hallucinations, though. He's articulating, well, I have video that I just took, actually, that you can have Dr. Phil. He's, got, he's talking about the old man in charge right now. Now, I don't know who the old man in charge right now is. It's probably a video that he's seen. And maybe it is. Either way, he's not functioning. And he has all the ABA therapy in the world. He has 40-plus hours of it in his autism class. How many? They can't work with him unless he is mentally stable. How many? Then they're able to do the therapies. How many doctors have you taken him to? We have taken him to UCLA, where there is one main doctor and a ton of fellows. Now, the fellows... You've seen about 50 doctors. Yes, yes, because they're all under the one main doctor. And okay. in fact... And then of the uh, 50 doctors, yes. you've, you've got one mm -hmm. that said schizophrenia. Actually, I have Which was the three. last one. No, there were two. There were two outpatient psychiatrists. One, um, I don't know if I can name names or not. I'd rather you not. I figured you would not want that. So, um, and what there's they said one was doctor psychotic in Northridge. No, no, no. In Northridge, I have to tell you, there was a doctor. You remember, and he he was trying desperately to get Bodie on clozapine because no, he knew. No, he wasn't. Yes, he was. I think the, that doctors no. would tell you that. What they would say is that they were not willing to do it outpatient. They would be willing to do it inpatient. Yes. But I think that that was to placate you. Well, you can not think because... whatever you want, okay? The truth is, I was even on the phone with the other doctor who believed okay. this in Agora Well, here's Hill. what you said in your tape piece. Yes, yes. Go ahead. Bodie has not been officially diagnosed schizophrenic. Psychotic disorder. Okay, well, you just said he had been diagnosed as schizophrenic, and you say in your tape piece he is not. Okay, all right, psychotic disorder. You're talking about such a, a potent drug. And my son was in a straitjacket, and you were there. I live with this 24-7. He's not going seven. crazy. He has autism. Come on, open book. Okay, open book. The three-part reunion concludes. She is the definition of the devil. You have a dark soul. Oh. Damn, Tisha. Damn. You don't want to miss. Oh, you talking about when you hacked his phone? What the f***? Oh, I'm going to get past this. You are changing so many lives. This. I'm very concerned about you. Love and Marriage Huntsville, new reunion part three, Saturday at 8, 7 central. I can't believe we're cleaning LeBron's house. Hey there. Oh. He got a hologram of himself just to give him compliments. You handled the decision to go to Miami perfectly. Nah. Now, how about we throw the party here? In the King's house. Are you not entertained? The only thing better than the game. You got it, bro. Is the after party. You good? We got a big problem. Was it the Miami ring? Because y'all know he didn't deserve that. House party. Rated R. Now play. Introducing Anilon X, the only non-stick cookware engineer for flavor. We make it exquisite with our patented Seartex surface that holds oil in the center of the pan and caramelizes like cast iron. Make it delicious with our thick edge-to-edge -edge steel base that retains heat and sears evenly. Make it with cookware designed to bring out every nuance and every flavor. Shop now and get free shipping at AnilonX.com. Over 100 million Americans have low or no credit. Self is a new way to build credit, no credit score required. Self customers who make on-time payments see a 30-point bump in their credit score on average. Download the app today. January 21st. I'm back. Life has been pretty busy for winter. No more Kevin. Kevin is gone. Your new song. To a new the hit. The new song. What Listen, is it? Tell me about the song. It's it's centered around gutter Barbies. Gutter Barbie. Yes. What's that? In the midst of my frustrations, I referred to Arena and Ashley as gutter Barbies. Love and Marriage DC. New episodes Saturday, January 21st at 8, 7 Central. Let the chips fall where they may. Tension's gonna fly. 
Everybody's dating each other, but everybody knows they're dating each other. Your directness yeah. is getting out of hand. Yeah. When I saw that, I was like, oh, well. If you're looking for a man, say amen. Amen. There are some things that I've heard. So embarrassing. Okay, sweetheart. Next. I think he's a fraud, and I don't think he's a good person. It's only going to get worse. I ain't going to do this with everybody. This is so much. Ready to love. New episode tonight, 8, 7 Central. Something about the Playboy brand had a little bit more of a mystique to it. It's a ticket to the highlight. What can you prepare you for? The Playboy Murders, all new series, Monday, January 23rd at 10 on ID. You've been to 50 doctors yes. looking for someone that will mm -hmm. tell you he's schizophrenic. I want because you believe he's schizophrenic, and you've told us, and you disparage yeah. these doctors as as being incompetent. Egotistical. egotistical you say yes. they're egotistical mm -hmm. and incompetent because they don't agree with your diagnosis well, of schizophrenic. Okay, I have something to say to that actually. Um, Adam Lanza was diagnosed with autism, and that worked out great because he was not given the right medication so or any medication Adam at Lanza all. To your, I did not say that. To Bodie. I did not say that. He was clearly psychotic. They made a big mistake. Now, what you're up against in the me mental health care system is doctors who give the blank autism diagnosis. That's all they do. And usually there's a mixture of both or several who, diagnoses. Who are you talking to? The audience. Well, talk to me. Oh, this okay, is, I'm sorry. We're, we're not having an election okay, here. They're not okay. going to vote. That's okay. That's okay. Um, but I just want to know... What would you do if you were me and your son was going absolutely crazy as he is right now in this studio and anyone can see it and he is not on any medication? I live with this 24-7. He's not going seven. crazy. He has autism. People with aut kids with autism have meltdowns. Okay, but you need to also have them function in the real world. Well, but okay. Hang on a second. Sure. She asked me a question. Allow me to answer. Of course. I'm sorry. Yeah, you're not a politician either, you know. Um, <clears throat> you said, what would I do? Yes, what would you do? Um, well, first off, I mm -hmm. would recognize my own limitations. Okay. And recognize that as a mother, mm -hmm. I, number one, was not objective. Uh, number two, would be a good source of information mm -hmm. to a caregiver. Mm -hmm. And I would look really hard to find someone that I had confidence in mm -hmm. that would go through a diagnostic process and not just talk to them for five or six minutes and render some diagnosis, because we know that happens a lot. Yes, we do. Uh, so I'd want someone yeah, that that's would... that's how you get shoes on the White House lawn, is yeah. because all of these great doctors are in okay. hiding. They don't okay. come out. L let me finish. Sorry, it's I not would... the guns. It's the mental illness that comes first. The guns come second. And nobody talks about this. Nobody talks about this. Why not? Where are the psychiatrists behind all of these terrible massacres? Where are they? They're in hiding under the HIPAA laws. I would find a, a doctor that I had confidence in mm -hmm. that would actually take time. This is going on the editing floor, I know. I would find a doctor that mm -hmm. I had confidence in that would really take time to okay. evaluate my son okay. and go through it. If I if I didn't disagree, if mm -hmm. I didn't agree with that, yes. then I would get a second opinion. I have. Now I can tell I you why. I wouldn't get 49 okay. second opinions. Okay, I'm gonna, you know what, here's oh. the thing. Here's the thing though that you don't know. And I, I gotta tell you, this one doctor who works at a very prestigious hospital happened to train so many fellows that even a psychologist friend of mine, PhD, who's seen my son, <laughs> has she tried to get him with a doctor that she knows, and, and the doctor took a look at all the paperwork, said, oh, this doctor, I trained under him. I'm so sorry, so I'm just not the right a, fit. You think it's a big conspiracy. And I'm not saying it's a conspiracy. But you know what that sounds like? That sounds delusional. Well, thank you very much. I have bipolar. I have bipolar. But, but this is the reality of it. Okay, but let me mm -hmm. let me let me say, you're you're talking about clozapine here or clozaril mm -hmm. yes. here, 
you, you understand that that's a mm -hmm. black label drug that yes. is mm -hmm. given only as a last resort mm -hmm. with schizophrenics that do not respond to any of the other medications. That's correct. And you've got to have mm -hmm. you got to have blood work. That's correct. Like every every week or yeah. ten days, and not every psychiatrist can even give this. It's, I know. it's such a a potent drug. And it's and also it's a last ditch <laughs> effort to try and control exactly. the delusions. My son was in a straitjacket and you were there. He was not in a straitjacket. It was an orange papoose. Do you remember that? And Eight yes, hours. And by the way, You do remember and that. By the way, mm -hmm. he's not going crazy, as you call it. He, upstairs, he's just fine right now. He's just being fine. Okay. He's sitting around. Well, you know what? He is off medication. He That is in the best interest of my son right now. Anything happens. But I you mean, want him back on medication. No I, no, I want him to be well. I want him well, to eat. Well, Susan right now, isn't he's the eating. only one. Fighting for Bodie to be diagnosed with schizophrenia. We'll meet her new husband when we come back, and I want to show Susan mm -hmm. some of her YouTube videos that I, I found particularly interesting. We'll be right yeah, back. Yeah, they need to be. think Michael has anyone's but Michael's best interests at heart. Michael enjoys any kind of misery that Susan might experience. Michael enjoys watching Susan and suffer. Closed captioning provided by Come on, open book. Okay, open book. The three-part reunion concludes. So tonight, 8, 7 central. He fooled everybody. Please don't let him have hurt somebody. Who did you do first? Your mother. Why? Because I wanted her to hear. Evil lives here. All new season. Sunday, January 22nd at 9. Followed by Signs of a Psychopath. All new season on ID. I can't believe you're cleaning LeBron's house. How about we throw a party here? We done messed up the koala. You good? What just happened? House party, rated R. I can't believe we're cleaning LeBron's house. Hey there. Go! He got a hologram of himself just to give him compliments. You handled the decision to go to Miami perfectly. Nah. Now, how about we throw a party here? In the King's house. Are you not entertained? The only thing better than the game. You got it, bro. Is the after party. You good? We got a big problem. Was it the Miami ring? Because y'all know he didn't deserve that. House party. Rated R. Now play. If I'm taking you with me, there's some rules you gotta follow. Rule one, we keep our histories to ourselves. Rule two, you don't tell anyone about your condition. Rule three, you do what I say when I say it. You're clear? What you say goes. your man or not do you know your plans or not you gonna go back home or not you gonna claim your throne or not is you khaleesi or that other <laughs> name i don't remember i've decided to go to rehab i'm still here bitches we got a big surprise gage is gonna be a big brother thousand pound sisters season premiere tuesday at nine on tlc 
coming January 21st. I'm back. Life has been pretty busy for winter. No more Kevin. Kevin is gone. Your new song. So a new the hit. Song? The new song. What Listen, is it? Tell me about the song. It's it's centered around gutter Barbies. Gutter Barbie. Yes. What's that? In the midst of my frustrations, I referred to Arena and Ashley as gutter Barbies. Love and Marriage DC. New episodes, Saturday, January 21st at 8, 7 central. Susan is using the children for financial gain. She receives over $3,000 a month from the state of California to take care of them. In addition, she receives about $1,000 in Social Security disability benefits for each child. She makes approximately six to $7,000 a month, yet claims that she cannot afford a two-bedroom apartment even though she drives a BMW. I don't think her priorities are in the right place. Well, Susan got remarried in 2017 to Corey, who she says has stepped into the father role for Bodie after Michael moved 1,800 miles away. Now, Corey says Michael fights Susan every step of the way when it comes to getting Bodie the help and diagnosis he needs, and it's time for Michael to take a back seat. Susan and I got together about two and a half years ago. I just love you. The relationship was love at first sight, and I moved in a month later. You want me to help? What too hot dog. It is too hot dog. I never feel that the children are imposing upon my life or causing me any problems at all. I'm mustard. Okay, mustard. I agree with Susan in the fact that Bodhi is not just simply autistic. He may be schizophrenic. Oh. <laughs> it's not surprising at all for me to know that Michael moved 1,800 miles away. But he's not very good at the parenting job. I don't think Michael has anyone's but Michael's best interests at heart. Michael enjoys any kind of misery that Susan might experience, either due to the kids, due to finances, due to her love life, whatever. Michael enjoys watching Susan suffer. Michael is always trying to undermine Janie's education. He's always trying to undermine Bodhi's mental health and stability. He's damaging the progress that the kids have already made. I would love to see Dr. Phil get it through his head that he's actually causing more harm than good. Corey, thanks for being here. Hi. Uh, you say Michael's causing more harm than good. Uh, but on the other hand, we're saying that he's moved 1,800 miles away, only sees the children three days every three months, so really isn't much of a factor at all. Uh, um, those text messages come in every single night. So well, what, what are your thoughts, Corey? Well, it's more about, you know, the, the damage that he's causing with the doctors, with the school nurse, mm -hmm. with, uh -huh. with um, Janie's education, you know, anything that, you know, just just comes yeah. up, he'll, he'll, he'll skewer it because that's just what he does. Because I'm expected to rubber stamp whatever the two of you she want. She has been thriving ever since you left. But this is a joint custody situation, yes, it correct? Is. Yes. And he has the right to approve mm -hmm. or weigh in on hospitalizations, medical care, changes. Even though he wants the kids institutionalized so he doesn't have to pay well, child support he... and he's garnished <clears throat> I've because never said... he has okay, been hold garnished. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. I mean, I'm just talking about his mm -hmm. legal rights. Okay. okay. I'm not saying that he exercised in the way that you want him to. Right. I'm just saying, but you do acknowledge that he has the right to weigh in. Yeah. Yeah. And if he doesn't mm -hmm. agree with you, mm -hmm. that doesn't mean that he's violating some right. He does have the right to weigh in. He could be wrong. I'm not saying. And if he's 1,800 miles away and doesn't see what's happening daily, he could certainly have an absence of information to make an informed decision. I, I certainly agree with that. Yes. But he does have the right to weigh in legally. Corey, what do you want to say? Well, he, he does have an absence of information because he chooses to. He knows Janny has certain bathroom issues, mm -hmm. and yet he wants Susan to take her to a doctor to get checked out, even mm -hmm. though he knows exactly what's going on. I don't and, know, because last time I checked, both of you are doctors, and okay. we don't know what is happening <laughs> with 
We don't know what is happening with Janney. We don't know what is happening with Bodie. I want them to be checked out. Yes. You're asking him whether he needs medication or not. Right. Are you kidding me? No. No, I'm not. And in the same conversation, do you want to go through the letters of the alphabet? The flight of ideas. I, I'm, I'm surprised you can't see this. Let, Closed captioning provided by... Come on, open book. Okay, open book. The three-part reunion concludes. She is the definition of the devil. You have a dark soul. Oh. Damn, Tisha. Damn. You don't want to miss... Oh, you talking about when you hacked his phone? What the f***? Oh, I'm gonna get past this. You are changing so many lives. This. I'm very concerned about you. Love and Marriage Huntsville, New Reunion, Part 3, Saturday at 8, 7 Central. I can't believe we're cleaning LeBron's house. Hey there. Go! He got a hologram of himself just to give him compliments. You handled the decision to go to Miami perfectly. Nah. Now, how about we throw the party here? In the King's house. Or you not entertained? The only thing better than the game. You got it, bro. Is the after party. You good? We got a big problem. Was it the Miami ring? Because y'all know he didn't deserve that. House Party. Rated R. Now play. So far, I've raised my credit score 39 points. 127 points. Over 100 points using self. I would recommend self to everyone. It feels really good. You should try it. <laughs> I love cooking with Analonex. It's just the best. So whenever I'm cooking and I put the oil in the center of the pan, it stays right where I put it. So one of the things I noticed about these pans is they have this beautiful sear tech surface. And it just makes the searing way easier compared to my old nonstick pants. It cooks really evenly, so there's no hot spots. So everything turns out amazing. Overall, things taste much better. Shop now and get free shipping at analonx.com. Coming January 21st. The Samuels are looking to, uh, the D word, divorce, separate, something the, like did that. Did they say divorce or separate? What? We just had a whole show prep with our producer, and no one told me we were going to bring us up live on the air today. She says that her and her husband are trying to fix their marriage and denying any divorce rumors. All marriages go through stuff. Does that mean we separate or getting divorced? Absolutely not. Love and Marriage DC. New episodes, Saturday, January 21st at 8, 7 Central. Let the chips fall where they may. Tension's going to fly. Everybody's dating each other, but everybody knows they're dating each other. Your directness is getting out of hand. Yeah. When I saw that, I was like, oh, well. If you're looking for a man, say amen. Amen. There are some things that I heard. It's so embarrassing. Okay, sweetheart. Next. I think he's a fraud, and I don't think he's a good person. It's only going to get worse. I ain't going to do this with everybody. This is too much. Ready to love. New episode tonight, 8, 7 Central. Do you want your man or not? Do you know your plans or not? You gonna go back home or not? You gonna claim your throne or not? Is you Khaleesi or that other <laughs> name I don't remember? He says you guys aren't mm -hmm. doctors and... And is he? Of course not. No. Not only is he not a doctor, he's absent. Yeah. And that that is an issue and I took that up with right. you in, in the first time we sat down. But now, you're not the only ones that aren't doctors, and there are some things that you've posted on the mm -hmm. internet that mm -hmm. are very troubling to me. And here's one of those YouTube videos that mm -hmm. really stood out to me. Susan called it, the cheese stands alone. It's five o'clock in the morning, and she is questioning Bodie about his meds. Take a look. Do you need medication, yes or no? Do you need medication? You tell me, because I don't know. You tell me. It's, it's almost 5 in the morning now, okay? So you tell me, do you need medication, yes or no? And if so, which medication do you need? If you need medication right now. Uh... 
There's the alarm. What was that? You want to what? Calm. Calm? Do you want calm? Mm -hmm. What are you looking at something? What are you looking at? Oh, okay, stop that right yeah. now. Stop that right now. Okay, mm -hmm. now before I comment on that, take a look at this clip from this conversation. How are you feeling now? I like mommy and the letters. Do you want the letters of the alphabet? Okay, I'm going to do that. Okay, now, I'm sorry. But you're asking this child who, by the way, I think was having uh, a transient seizure in the first part of that conversation. Mm -hmm. And you're asking him, I want to know if you need medication and if so, which one? Mm -hmm. yeah. And in the same conversation, mm -hmm. you're saying, okay, do you want to go through the letters of the alphabet? No. He brought that up to me, uh, and I then understand. we talk. It's a flight I, of ideas. I, I'm surprised you can't see this. Uh, let, uh, <laughs> what I can see is that you're dealing with a child mm -hmm. that has a flight of ideas and is wanting to talk about the letters of the alphabet, mm -hmm. and in the same conversation, you're talking to him about whether he needs medication or not, and which medication he needs. Yeah. Because he has declared. And in, in, uh, finally, at well, take a, look at, uh, take a look at this. Tell me more. Because if I'll take you out, I have no problem. I'll take you out right now. But I need to know what's going on with you. And I need to also know if you need if you need your um, Clauserol and Depakote. So you've got to tell me this, Bodie, before I take you out. Yes or no? You're asking this child yes. if it needs Clauserol or Depakote. Mm -hmm. Are right. you kidding me? No, no, I'm not. Because you don't seem to understand what happens when children who are not medicated, <laughs> what they, you know, well, hey, you know what? You got Columbine to Sandy Hook. Are you happy uh. with that? He, he has declared whether or not a medication was working yes, or not. he has declared that. You just aren't showing those YouTube videos, but those are on there where he can but declare exactly what, what he needs. That's what he looked like on yes, clozapine, I, and he was, he was, he was sedated, he yes. was possibly seizing. Yes. Okay, okay. okay. Was, About so, the seizures, okay? He was under mm -hmm. an EEG when he had one of these so-called so seizures. It didn't show up to anything that the neurologist was concerned with. In fact, we didn't even get the MRI that was scheduled. There's a problem with the mental health care well, system that is being ignored, uh, and okay, it's all listen, the way through. You want to talk about the system. Yes, I want to talk I about do. your situation. I want to talk about the system. And I'm telling you, in my opinion, mm -hmm. you are not competent to make a decision about what medications he needs <laughs> and when he needs them. Okay. Then you provide me the doctor who you, is. Let, okay. let me finish. You, you me two, neither of you two are competent to make decisions about what medication he needs and when he needs it. And certainly an 11 year old child that is either schizophrenic or on the autism spectrum is not competent to make a decision about whether he needs Clozaril, Depakote, Thorazine, or anything else. A good doctor, and we I know Dr. Phil can give me a good doctor. No, no, no. The is you won't listen right, to them. No, no. Well, they no. haven't been right. I'm we'll not going to discuss another damn thing until somebody answers my question. Come on, open book. Okay, open book. The three part reunion concludes. She is the definition of the devil. You have a dark soul. Oh. Damn, Tisha. Damn. You don't want to miss. Oh, you talking about when you hacked his phone? What the f? Oh. 
I'm gonna get past it. You are changing so many lives. This. I'm very concerned about you. Love and Marriage Huntsville New Reunion Part 3, Saturday at 8, 7 Central. Something about the Playboy brand had a little bit more of a mystique to it. It's a ticket to the highlight. Nothing can prepare you for that. The Playboy Murders, all new series, Monday, January 23rd at 10 on ID. Let the chips fall where they may. Tension's gonna fly. Everybody's dating each other, but everybody knows they're dating each other. Your directness Come here. is getting out of hand. Yeah. When I saw that, I was like, oh, well. If you're looking for a man, say amen. Amen. There are some things that I've heard. So embarrassing. Hey, sweetheart. Next. I think he's a fraud, and I don't think he's a good person. It's only going to get worse. I ain't going to do this with everybody. This is too much. Ready to love. New episode tonight, 8, 7 Central. Sunday. I wish he didn't feel this way. I think Usman played my mom. Can we talk about the elephant in the room? What is the elephant in the room? Happily Ever After Tell All. No Limits. All new. Sunday at 8 on TLC. I can't believe we're cleaning LeBron's house. How about we throw a party here? <laughs> Are you mad at the team? We done messed up the koala. You good? What just happened? House party. Rated R. People gonna talk in D.C. <laughs> Coming. They're claiming the Samuels are looking to divorce. Him and his dad are not speaking. Wait, 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 wait. Welcome. We're going to be out on our own little island. It's called Peace. I'm going to go before I whip your ass. The sisterhood just went out the window. I'm back. Then all of them. And again and again and again. Love and Marriage DC returns Saturday, January 21st at 8, 7 Central. Do you want your man or not? Do you know your plans or not? You gonna go back home or not? You gonna claim your throne or not? Is you Khaleesi or that other <laughs> name I don't remember? She's immune. They're working on a cure. Get her there. Set everything right. We have a job to do. There's no halfway with this. <laughs> He fooled everybody. Please don't let him have hurt somebody. What did you do first? My mother. Why? Because I wanted her here. Evil Lives Here, all new season, Sunday, January 22nd at 9, followed by Signs of a Psychopath, all new season on ID. All these young, untimely deaths. For your kid, fame can be poisonous. He shared with me something. Oh, I hesitate to even say it. The Price of Glee, three-part limited series, Monday at 9 on ID. Take a step and back he here. Too. Corey, I understand that she's not objective about this. Do you really believe that an 11 year old child, that if in fact you are correct, has childhood schizophrenia, is competent to make a decision about whether or not they need they, 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 any of these medications? Uh, He's on nothing he, right now. He, he understands. Uh, that's he, not what I asked he, he you. He understands that you know when when something's working. Do you working. believe he is competent to make a decision about whether he needs I, these powerful psychoactive I medications? I think that when he's in his right mind, when he's present. Mm -hmm. In that tape, do you no, believe no, he no. was present? That, that tape does not, sh he's not in his right mind. She's That's asking right. him, does he, right. should he take right. those medications? Right. Tell some, me, I need more information. Tell me if you need these medications. And, and if he says yes, she's going to give them to him. Sometimes, so, so, no, no, no. no we're under doctor's orders. We don't give it. we haven't given him anything. Why are you asking him the question? Is because this just idle? No, out of conversation he, at 5 a.m.? He's up at 5 a.m. because he's up all night long because he can't sleep and he's begging to sleep. So and he can't. the can. answer is to put him on clozapine so he'll Not sleep. Not necessarily. No. No. I don't know what the answer is, but I need a, you, a good doctor. And I know Dr. Bill can give me doctors. a good doctor. No. The no. problem no. is you won't listen right. to them. No, no, Well, they no. haven't been stop. right. Stop, stop. Now, the, the th still wait, 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 wait. I, I want to clarify this 50 doctors business. Yeah. Okay. There, she's saying there was one doctor I'm who I'm not going to discuss another damn thing until somebody answers my question. Oh, do I think he's competent? I think sometimes he's aware enough to give a, a valid answer. That's correct. Sometimes he's aware, sometimes, sometimes he's then not. Then you are a reckless parent. He is this much aware. This, every once in a while, you will get a glimpse 
and, and he is present, and you can converse with him. He will actually answer a question. Yeah. I think I am probably better educated and have more experience than Bodie. Fair enough. I will uh, give you that. Just, I, I, I have been doing this for 45 years. I have training in psychopharmacology. And I can tell you, I am not competent to answer the question you ask. Okay. I am not competent to answer the question as to whether or not at that moment in time that child needs those medications because that needs to be part of a therapeutic regimen dictated by his psychiatrist based on blood work, based on a following history, mm -hmm. and based on where he is. And if you were to ask me, watching that video, whether he needs those medications or not, I would tell you two things. Number one, I'm not competent to answer that question without a whole lot more information. And number two, I'm not competent to tell you whether he has childhood schizophrenia or he is on the autism spectrum, or both, because there is some overlap, and for you to be asking that child that question is absolutely, absurdly ridiculous. Well, if... I couldn't answer the question, so how Fair in the enough. world can he? Fair because enough. it's him. He, it is he, him. He, he is present from time to time. He goes in and out. Just because you have a brain injury doesn't mean you can do brain surgery. Wow. That. It's, it's uh, how many times has CPS been involved with Susan? The answer may surprise you when we come back, and I'm going to introduce someone else to this conversation that can come closer to some of these answers than I can because he has a different uh, set of skills and different training background. We'll be right back. <laughs> Closed captioning provided by... Come on, open book. Okay, open book. The three-part reunion concludes. She is the definition of the devil. You have a dark soul. Oh. Damn, Tisha. Damn. You don't want to miss. Oh, you talking about when you hacked his phone? What the f***? Oh, I'm going to get past it. You are changing so many lives. This. I'm very concerned about you. Love and Marriage Huntsville, new reunion part three, Saturday at 8, 7 central. Taking you with me, there's some rules you gotta follow. Rule one, we keep our histories to ourselves. Rule two, you don't tell anyone about your condition. Rule three, you do what I say when I say it. You clear? What you say goes. Let the chips fall where they may. Tension's gonna fly. Those they're dating each other. Your directness yeah. is getting out of hand. Yeah. When I saw that, I was like, oh, well. If you're looking for a man, say amen. Amen. There are some things that I've heard. It's so embarrassing. Okay, sweetheart. Next. I think he's a fraud, and I don't think he's a good person. It's only gonna get worse. I ain't gonna do this with everybody. This is too much. Ready to love. New episode tonight, 8, 7 Central. I can't believe we're cleaning LeBron's house. Hey there. Go! He got a hologram of himself just to give him compliments. You handled the decision to go to Miami perfectly. Nah. Now, how about we throw the party here? In the King's house. Are you not entertained? The only thing better than the game. You got it, bro. Is the after party. You good? We got a big problem. <laughs> Was it the Miami ring? Because y'all know he didn't deserve that. House party. Rated R. Now play. Coming January 21st. The Samuels are looking to, uh, the D word, divorce, separate, something the, like did that. Did they say divorce or separate? What? We just had a whole show prep with our producer and no one told me he was gonna bring us up live on the air today. She says that her and her husband are trying to fix their marriage and denying any divorce rumors. All marriages go through stuff. Does that mean we separate or getting divorced? Absolutely not. Love and Marriage DC. New episodes, Saturday, January 21st at 8, 7 central. Do you want your man or not? Do you know your plans or not? You gonna go back home or not? You gonna claim your throne or not? Is you Khaleesi or that other <laughs> name I don't remember? Something about the Playboy brand had a little bit more of a mystique to it. It's a ticket to the highlight. 
enough can you prepare you for? The Playboy Murders, all new series, Monday, January 23rd at 10 on ID. Well, we're out of time, so we're going to continue this heated conversation tomorrow. Now, how many times has CPS been involved with Susan? Has Michael been neglectful of the children? And is Susan really willing to take my advice, or is she going to just keep on right fighting? Here's a sneak peek. You're not going to want to miss tomorrow. You can follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and don't forget to subscribe to my new podcast called Fill in the Blanks. It's free. All you got to do is press the button. We'll see you next time.